Hey everybody, I'm still working on my um, New Year's resolution of using up some of my pattern paper and um, creating some really cool cards and I was playing around and came up with this idea and I wanted to share it with you and I think it's this is going to be a lot of really cool tips and stuff for when you're creating cards. So um, one of the first things, um, I'm starting off with a quarter sheet of paper and in this case for my pattern paper I'm using four by five and a quarter and this is going to get glued on here but before we glue that on I also cut um, out of a coordinating, it doesn't have to be the same, but in this case it is the same. Out of a coordinating cardstock, I'm going to have a flap on my card. So this right here is, I believe, um, it's just shy of two and a half um, and by six and uh, nope, just six inches. And what I'm going to do is actually score this to create a flap. Now, so the measurements on this don't matter as much as um, some of the other things that we do. So what I have is this is the piece that I'm going to do my stamping on and I just wanted to make it a little bit bigger than the original piece and I'm going to score right here. I'm just going to lay this right on here see if we can do this together. Center this the best I can. And let's see, this is the closest score line, so we're just going to do that. So we just need a little tab in order for us to fold this back and create a tab on our card. Okay. So let's do some of our stamping on this. And um, I love... Um, wine cards. I think they are so fun. And this is a new stamp set by Technique Junkies that has recently come out. And I really like the font. I liked everything about it. And it comes, this is what it looks like when you get it. But you know me, if you follow me any of my videos, I do stamp surgery all the time. So I cut mine into three pieces so I can use my elements separately. So you could use this all together or do it separately however you would like to do it. Getting that centered on my paper. So there we have our first sentiment, and now I'm going to switch off to the wine glasses. And the reason I wanted to cut this apart is I'm going to actually stamp my wine glasses in gray because then I can color the different elements in the wine glasses. And I'm going to show you here what I mean because I wanted my wine to be wine colored. I didn't want it to be black. So now I have, currently I have gray wine glasses. So I'm gonna set this aside to dry and while we're getting our stamping out, I'm gonna take our inside sentiment and I'm even stamping this in VersaFine because I want it to be a nice crisp black. And I'm so sorry if my head gets in the way here when I'm stamping, but I can't see because I have to be where the camera is. And actually this piece and this piece are the same width and I already die cut just to save time because I wanted this to be able to hold a gift card. So I, I bought every company has a die that makes this. I think mine is from my favorite things. And it's just like two little half circles. And I just double checked it. So I looked and it holds a gift card perfectly. So you could get a gift card to your favorite restaurant, whatever. It's just a really cool way of... Um, of, of, of sharing that with your friends. All right, so let's go back to this piece. And like I said, I wanted my wine to be wine colored. So what I'm gonna, I went through my stash and I was looking for something that was wine colored. And what I found was I had an Arteza Real Brush Pen. And I don't know if it has an official color on it. It doesn't, but um, I was like, well, this looks like wine. So the cool thing is, is I can go in over this gray and add the red and it now will never know the gray was there. And I'm gonna do my best to preserve that heart in there because I like that heart. And I'm just going around here. Now, um, if you use Copic markers, you could also do this with Copics. Um, I was lazy, my Copics are upstairs. And these were downstairs. Um, you could do this with Copics. You could probably also do this with colored pencil if you have them. I'm trying to think of other 
mediums. If you even had like a Tombow marker, I went through my Tombows and I didn't have a wine colored one. I don't have a ton of those, but I think that works out really well. So just go over it. This one is not as smooth as my other one, so I will, which is because of that heart. I just was, so I'm just going to put a second coat on this one. There we go. And now, oh, I forgot my drops. I'm also going to do my drops. If you had zig markers, those would work. So any of these would be just fine. So I think that looks really good. I, I'm going to take my white gel pen and I just have a little bit I want to clean up in here. I want my heart to look very heart-like. So we're just cleaning that up a little bit, but it's not necessary. You can also clean up this edge. So if you have any little lines that you're not super happy with, I tend to be a perfectionist when it comes to that stuff. So, all right, so I am going to use this black. So it's kind of like, maybe that's what I want to say. I want a mirror, so we have black here, so I want black on the bottom. Kind of grounds the whole thing. So I went through and I found I have this little black and white ribbon and I thought this went well with this idea and it also grounds those glasses so they're not like floating in the air which I don't know I, I don't like when things float in the air so much so this solves that problem and so I'm just going to trim my ends here. Perfect. And now we can adhere this onto our um, our little strip of our, our flap on the card. So I think that works out really well. You could also make this into a bookmark if you wanted to. I thought about doing that as well. But I like this idea of the hidden gift card idea. So Let's just glue that down and I'm kind of being careful because I did use VersaFine and it does take a little while to dry and then on the back of this because I want it to hold really well I'm going to use a little bit of score tape to hold this down you probably don't have to this is probably excessive you probably could just use a really strong adhesive and do just fine um, but I would hate for this to fall apart. So I put this there and I'm also going to put just a little bit of liquid adhesive on here. And now we have our pattern paper and I'm going to hold this over the pattern paper and let's see, pinch this down. Oh, it's going to be a little long. That's okay. We can fix that. So when you're playing around and creating these kind of ideas of flaps and stuff, little mistakes like that are easy to do. So what I'm going to do is actually pull this up and I'm going to get my paper trimmer. Let's see. The responsible thing would be to make a little mark. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's make a little mark right there. And I know you can't see that on the camera, but. And I will put the correct measurements if you want to copy this idea onto my blog so you can get that information. And I'll save you that work. So now I'm putting that back on, and now I can trim this off. It was a very easy thing to fix. There we go. And so now that little tag here kind of ends at the same spot as um, our pattern paper. So I'm just going to add a little bit more adhesive here in any of the places that's having a hard time sticking.
And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my cardstock. And this is going to give this stability. Oh my gosh, I love that. So now we have this little flap thing. Now I'm going to get that piece that we did at the beginning of the video. And so look, this is a little long too, but that's going to be super easy to fix. I'm actually going to take a little bit off the top. I think that'll be enough. Look at that. Let's glue this down. You want to be sure that if you don't want to put any glue where the gift card is going to be because you don't want to glue your gift card to the card. But I'm going to glue this little bit here. And now we have a concealed gift card. Now, this is optional. I am going to choose to do this because I would like to write a note, but I'm going to put this onto a standard gift, you know, A2 card. But you don't have to. You could give this just like this and you could write your message on the back. So that is up to you, but I think I am going to put this on a standard A2 card. All right, so here's the finished card. Um, like I said, I, I, again, I'll post all the the measurements that you need but we have the good friends wine together and it has a hidden gift card in here and then you do have a place so that you can write a message to your friend happy birthday whatever happy valentine's day happy anniversary whatever and so there you have that but i i wanted to make an alternate version of this card what if you didn't want to put a gift card so i did make that version as well it's pretty much the same. The only thing is I decided to cut this shorter because I was like, what are you going to put in the space that looks kind of awkward? I guess you could write a message or maybe put a photo. You could probably put a photo in here if you had one um, as another idea versus a gift card. But I just decided to make this smaller, still kind of a surprise sentiment. And then you can write your, your message on the inside. So anyway, there's just two ideas for their... Um, for a, another little flap card using up some pattern paper some really cool stamps i love i love this stamp set um, i'm going to get a lot of use out of this so i'd love to hear what you guys think i hope this gets your creative juices flowing and all the information will be in the the googly goo in the bottom um thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time